So you're not gonna believe this, but I was actually helping out at a graduation this weekend, and did I tweak my back or what? Holy smokes. I heard it pop, not a good situation. We've all been there, but you know what? I love golf and I'm playing this afternoon. I gotta figure this out. Today I'm gonna to show you some tips that you can do to actually maybe allow you to play some golf even if your back hurts. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And um, one of the reasons you come here to US Golf TV, hopefully anyhow, is because you know we love our experienced golfers. Nobody in golf is old. I'm not old, I know Nick's not old, but we love golf and we consider ourselves experienced golfers. But as we age and as life goes about, you know, our body doesn't move like it moved before. It's one of the premises of the whole vertical line swing. And every once in a while, you're doing yard work, you're, a matter of fact, I'm almost like literally lifting some ice and trying to dump it into a, a, a tray and just heard my back crack, but I'm still gonna play golf. So I wanna share with you a couple things you can do in your setup and a couple swing things and then one drill that maybe can get you through the, through the round. All right, so here we go, let's dive right into it. Now. I've got my seven iron right here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, and this is one of the cornerstones of the vertical line swing, and that is a little bit of toe flare because you know, and this is one of the premises of, of, the, of the book, The Bad Lie, is, is that we want movement. Movement and rotation is good. And as we lose flexibility, we've got to adjust the setup a little bit to allow us to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our toes and we're gonna flare them more than normal. So from the face on view, when I'm set in there, Okay, if my norm, normal toe flare for sake of discussion is, let's just say it's 20 degrees, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another 10 or 15 degrees. So I'm gonna really get my toes kind of flared out. Now, what is that gonna allow me to do? Well, if you follow any of our stuff, you know that when the, when the toes flare out, that makes hip rotation a lot easier. And as my hips turn, that's gonna take some pressure off my back. So let, let me go ahead and just hit a shot here. I got my seven iron, all right? And I'm here today at Keene Park, beautiful spot beautiful spot here in Sioux Falls. Got a little bit of breeze today. That's okay. It's keeping the bugs away, right Nick? Give them, there it is, yeah, we got no bugs. So here we go. I'm set in here, all right? I got my toes, this is normal, but I'm gonna flare them a little bit more, see how I did that, all right? Okay, that felt pretty darn good right there. So that's tip number one. If your back hurts, but you got a big match, take the toes and flare them out a little bit. Now. The next thing I want to talk about is specifically has to do with the golf swing, and then I'm going to give you a drill. Now, with the golf swing, I want you to even exaggerate more so turning the hips and letting the trail leg release. What do I mean by that? Well, here we go. When I'm set in here, all right, I got my toes flared out. If I keep my trail leg restricted, my knee bent, all right, that's going to restrict. I, okay, I don't even like to do that. <laughs> Cause I kind of like, I, I could feel it immediately as I did that, I could feel some pain kind of shoot up the backside there. So I'm not gonna demonstrate again, Nick, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to B-roll that in from a different shot, all right? But when you're set in there, what I want you to do is let, really let that leg release. See that? Exaggerate it. If your back hurts, see, I can make this motion and I, and I don't feel any, any tension. I don't feel any discomfort. This is easy to do for me. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna hit a shot. Let me see if I can exaggerate that. You tell me if I did. Here we go, I'm set in there. Toes are flared more than normal. I'm gonna really let that trail leg release. Oh gosh, I felt more range of motion there and more rhythm and better. All right, now, so those are the two things you can do. One in the setup, one in the swing motion. Let me give you a particular drill. And you know this, you gotta tell me where you're from. All right, we love hearing where you're from. Also, what do you like us to be talking about, okay? What do you like us to be talking about here? We love hearing all those different things. Man, we got people from all over, Africa, UK, a lot of Australians. Oh, we like our Australians out there. We got, it's, it's on Nick and I's bucket list. We gotta get to Australia and we can't forget our friends in Canada. It seems like the Canada people do a lot of commenting during the winter because maybe you're watching more videos because you're not outside playing golf. But we love hearing from you and we love that you're part of our family here. Now, what about a particular drill? Pretty simple. This is one of the ones we've seen before, but I'm gonna give it to you. It's called the step back drill. All right, so when we're set in here, what you're gonna do is take your regular setup, and as you swing the club, your arms and the club back and up, you're gonna take your trail foot, which is your right foot, and you're just gonna step it back a little bit. Okay, now if you're a lefty, of course it's gonna be left foot. Okay, so when I'm doing that, First of all, look at the hip, see the hip rotation right there? And I'm even stretching out my lead leg a little bit. 
Okay, but this is really easy for me to do. Okay, and this is allowing my hips to turn. So, you know right away, we're going for the three setter. Here we go. Let's get set in there. I got the toes out. Good, they're a little tap. There's one. There's two. Feels good, I'm getting loose. There's three, all right, now I've got the feel. Here we go, let's steady in, toes out. I'm gonna let that trail leg release. I'm gonna really turn those hips. Oh yeah. All right, I'll tell you this. I hurt my back this weekend, trying to be a good family guy, helping, helping out at the graduation, but I got a big match this afternoon. I'm not missing this match. These couple tips are gonna get me through the day. I hope they also can help you maybe play a few more rounds of golf when your back is also hurting.